Oh, oh hi. Welcome to TPC. Overall, we've had one of the best years here at TPC that we've had in a long while. The only way things like this can happen here are because of our great leadership and everyone working towards a common goal. Our success in marketing would be unattainable without the support and success of the other departments here in our OPCO. We have to acknowledge procurement, sales, administration, the warehouse, and our transportation departments for their success in helping everyone here contribute to such a wonderful year that we've had. We've developed a new logo as a mission for our OPCO that helps everyone here remember this fact, and that statement is Team One. So that we follow the rules with this submission, let me start by addressing each of the criteria that have been set up. Street sales growth. We've been on a steady climb this last year in street sales, finishing the year at near double digit case growth in the independent segment. This effort can be attributed to the great departmental leadership we've had and the consistent set of goals for the year. Some of the biggest contributors to this area were our food shows, street selling tools, and the transition of our OPCO from a food distribution company to a restaurant support company for the independent restaurants, focusing in on their success. Food shows. We brought back the buying food show this year for both the Quad City event and the Chicago event. These shows had great turnouts with over 400 people coming through registrations at each location. We take a lot of pride in knowing that in our market, our biggest manufacturers were telling us that our shows had double the attendance that our competitors were getting during the same time period. Our themes for both shows were based around technology and innovation in both the products we showed and how they were marketed. We had all of our vendors come to the shows armed with web pages, cross-marketing tools, recipes, and anything else they could bring that could inspire and assist our customers. We had a Facebook page for the shows called The Feed that allowed our customers to go and get information on the show as well as links to the manufacturers that we had at the show for later reference. We had a history run on all active accounts that were attending and gave each account the ability to pre-book their items that they already buy. By doing the pre-booking and coming to the show, the only thing for them to do during the show was to find new items that they needed or wanted or look at and receive education on food and social media topics that were being done in seminars throughout the day. Selling Tools Compad. This was a monthly publication based around buying opportunities and holidays. We distributed 25 copies to each AM so they could set up multiple accounts ahead of time as they planned out their weeks. This publication was set up to be used as a leveraging tool more than a deal sheet. We sent out these hot prices on, on items the Friday before the flyer went live so the AM had the best price possible and had time to plan and set up for the week coming up. Flyer shelves. We recognize that AMs do not have time or the software to do big graphically oriented flyers themselves. So we came up with a format to help them with this issue. We produce a professionally themed piece that the AM can fill in the details to on their end. We have a large library of themes and we've been continually updating these shelves with different themes to help support the AM's efforts. This keeps all of our communications on a high quality level. We share these shelf flyers company wide and even have done themes for other opcos. Category specific product guides. We set up these product guides to help our sales team during the big buying seasons like Christmas, holiday, and Lent. Uh, we saw that these times our customers were looking for different items associated with these holiday events. We wanted to have an easy to use product catalog for each of these buying events, so we developed these theme guides to support our sales efforts. Local marketing strategy. A huge part of our local marketing strategy is the creative services department. Hi, let me introduce you to the four associates that make up the Creative Services Marketing Department here at TPC. Hi, my name's Linda Rufflinger, and uh, I'm the crazy cat woman married to uh, Mr. Universe. Hi, I'm Scott Peake. I'm the Creative Services Coordinator, uh, and I'm the really cool Scott. The other guy's jerk. Hi, I'm Lisa Ford. I'm the one that doesn't talk all the time, and I really hate Applebee's. Hi, I'm Big Daddy Don Road. I put the capital B in brands. So there you have it. These are the uh, four associates here that make up the backbone of the marketing department. We use this department to leverage business and to help protect our customers from our competitors. We do this through complete custom design menus and marketing pieces for each of our customers that are unsurpassed in this market. 
We have two expert designers on staff and the latest software and computers to help us with this task. This department services over 400 accounts locally, and we now support over seven opcos nationwide and their menu marketing efforts. We recognize that some of our other opcos had similar needs as we did in this area and competing with our competitors. We found a way for us to share this resource with any opco that has that need, making it easy for anyone to have this service without having to buy the equipment, have the labor, or the software licenses. Our tracking has shown us that accounts that use our menu services show an average of 29% greater penetration in the account and a 33% greater profits on the account than the accounts that do not use our services at all. This year we experienced an overall independent sales growth of 6.7% that can be attributed to these promotions that we ran over this last year. The Big Ten sales promotion, this was focused on an overall case growth. CSI promotion. This was focused on new customer acquisition and account penetration. This promotion has helped achieve the run rate very close to our overall company goal of 6%. This promotion also yielded us a million dollars in new sales growth with over 30,000 in new case growth. Mission Possible. This was focused on earned income and new case growth. This yielded us $85,000 in new marketing monies. Brand growth. We had a stellar year in brands. We ended up with a growth of 22.6% in brand dollars and 15.6% in case growth this year. One of the biggest contrib contributors to this effort was our brands manager, Don Big Daddy Road. He developed the daily conversion opportunity sheet that he pioneered, set up, and executed and then shared with not just our opco, but everybody in the company. This is now featured on Inside PFG, thanks to the brilliance of one Fred Sinelli. Don also did a top 10 regional chain opportunity report, which targeted regional chain opportunities for us to convert from some national brands to our own branded products. A few of the conversions were Topper's Pizza, converted to a West Creek taco sauce, Hungry Hobo, converted to a Roma cheese steak, both chicken and beef, Biagi's, converted to Aroma Flower, just to name a few. Don also did a weekly brand reporting by rep and by line. This allowed each to plan their week by account, by line, with brands. This was very effective in helping an AM see where they were and where they should focus their efforts on in brands by account instead of the broad general focus as used before. In brands, we did a Village Garden driver promotion. We had our drivers give out sample dressings to help the sale of this line and support it with recipe cards each week to help drive this brand and paired it with produce. Our Big Ten new account promotion also had a bonus attached for selling branded items that helped us in the overall brand achievement. Corporate supplier promotions. We support corporate promotions with a passion. We've always been a supporter of these promotions and can prove it by the attendance at the roll-offs and the winners we've had over this last year. Here's a list of the corporate promotions we've had and how many we've attended and won. The summer roll-off. We had 18 reps qualify. The Vegas roll-off. We sent 18 reps to Vegas. Thank you very much, Fred, Lisa, and the corporate marketing team. It was a great time. Rice Street Super Bowl. We had the winner with Emilio Ziccarelli. The Braveheart Identigen promotion. One of the two top winners for the entire company, Joe Armanese. Local roll-off. So the local roll-off we did here last year, we also had 17 reps qualify for that one as well. Fair share maximization. We set up strategic groups to help target our SKU rationalization in the building. Our main target was making sure we were using and selling the SKUs that gained us the best return on and in fair share in EI. From these groups, we would then analyze different categories to find opportunities and then present them for discussion and action. This ongoing function alone helps us make sure we maximize our purchases in this area. The GCIRA. We have used some of these monies in helping us form an association in Chicago called the GCIRA, or the Greater Chicago Land Italian Restaurant Association. Through this organization, we have developed a cookbook using over 70 independent Italian restaurant recipes and helped sell this cookbook to benefit the National Italian American Sports Hall of Fame in its endeavors to give scholarships to the local community in Chicago. Our goal is to see 10,000 cookbooks sold by the end of this year. 
The GCIRA organization has helped us in giving Roma a powerful position in the Italian community and some leverage in the Italian restaurant community. Creative category. Did I mention our creative services department? Not only do we do custom designed menus, but we also supply table tents, buttons, banners, billboards, and logos. We have also worked with customers in creating and designing concepts from the ground up, from opening, providing them with RFPs, recipe guides, floor plans, operation manuals, handbooks, checklists, service manuals, business cards, menus, drink menus, and marketing calendars. We have used these tools to help us gain access to larger accounts in the Chicago area. We have been working with Posted Card on pioneering new products like Roux and Menuetta in the social media area directed at helping restaurants. These programs are designed to help support restaurants and their marketing efforts and helping them navigate and control their social media presence. We have also developed supporting materials for some of our branded products and have shared them with everyone company-wide like Baccio and Braveheart. Last year we also launched a broker management website. This innovative website allows our AMs to create a sales lead that can be tracked, managed, and followed up on throughout the life of the lead. AMs create the sales lead from our database of items and manufacturers. The AM set up the details of the meeting and timing. The broker then executes the lead and then provides follow-up to close a generated lead. Thank you for taking the time uh, to walk with us through TPC's marketing year. Uh, in the end, I'd like to close on this statement, marketing, it's just liquor and guessing. Cheers. <laughs>